<laughs> yes, y'all nasty because y'all saw the title and y'all thought it was about to be something, but it's really not that. It's really something uh, to help those thinkers and those creators see shit through. You're welcome. Nasty. It is an amazing gift to be able to sit in your own thoughts and create ideas of greatness, ideas that you can create this, you can make this, you can put this together, you can build this, you can format this, and other people have to be trained to do something that your mind does on a regular basis. But I think a lot of people can come up with great ideas, can event uh, products, but it's a, it's a, it's a multi-engine to see things that you think of to completion. And a lot of people forget the process of how to develop a great idea. That way it's a secured idea. And when I say a secured idea, I mean an idea that you don't have to worry about forgetting. An idea that doesn't have to stay an idea and can become something tangible. And an idea that you can see through till the end on how it can inform someone help someone or provide a better not a better a more efficient way of doing a logical thing that humans may need in everyday life or maybe animals may need in everyday life and I think that's what humans get to see year after year is Great engineering, good innovation, and a more efficient way of doing something. As if, um, what can I compare this to? The Volvo um, window door. I remember um, my dad used to have a old Volvo with a square back mirror and a square front mirror. It was very boxy. I think it was green. And you can... Roll down the window, but you have to do it with your hand. It was like one of the wind-ups. And I remember that car to his Toyota Camry that he had where it had an electric button where you just push it and the window goes down and you pull it up and the window goes up. That's efficiency. That's someone thinking there has to be a better way to do this that's more efficient where someone doesn't have to work their body so much to get something to work. And sometimes people don't know how to ride their ideas to the finish line. And that sometimes may uh, require sitting with your thoughts alone. Sometimes it might require a team of people you trust, um, writing it down, uh, drawing it, brainstorming again, scratching the idea. Um, making a diagram of how the pros and cons will work, what may not make it work, uh, what are some similar products out right now that may be competition, what companies are working on X, Y, and Z. And that's where you have to do your research. You can't sit with a great idea in your head and think someone else hasn't thought about this because there is... Someone who has the first initial thought, but there are also other people who have a great thought like that, but they don't have the the willpower to see it through. And you have to ask yourself questions throughout this whole process. And I think um, doubt is healthy when you're creating something that is not yet available to compare it to. I think um, trying to find a better source is something you have to do. And just because you have a great idea doesn't mean that you have to be the one to see it through. Thank you so much for checking out She Gets It Pod. 
My name is Shan. I am the creator of this podcast. I've been doing this podcast since March of 2018. Damn. A little dusty. But I appreciate you. If you would like to support this podcast, you can with just a click of your button on your phone, your uh, Android, or your iPhone, okay? You can go to any podcast platform, leave me a review, let me know who you are, because I might want to find you on social media, and thank you, and tell me what you think about the show, or you can go to She Gets It Shop, buy yourself some merch, support me, and there's a link in the podcast notes of every episode where you can donate directly to Red Circle that will support this podcast. Till next time, (laughs) don't do nothing I want to (laughs) do. I ain't got no bail money for you. Don't call my phone. Do not DM me, okay? Maybe you know someone that could better execute the idea, but you trust them to give the idea. There's a way to... Secure your thoughts when you share it with the team also and have people sign um, NDAs before you share a thought to protect pr- protect your thoughts. And I think it, it requires constant thinking to define all the areas of gaps in, in your ideas where you did, did you think about this problem? Do you think about this challenge that might come up? How long do you think this process will take? What, um, financial funds do you need to see this process through? I think it's easy to say, you know, you wake up today and you want to, I want to build this. Okay. Well, it's going to take time. It's going to take money. It's going to take a team. It's going to take trust, it's going to take vision, and it's going to take the willpower to withstand the challenges that are going to come all throughout that process. And a lot of people don't have the willpower to withstand their ideas. A lot of people don't know how to ride their thoughts to completion, and that's where procrastination comes in. She Gets a Podcast will be right back. This podcast is sponsored by BetterHelp. It's early in the year. Christmas is done. Happy New Year's were said. We heard them, okay? But how do you feel? It's tax time and frustration is on the rise all across the board. Layoffs are still happening and people have lost loved ones. And the way that life was being lived in 2023 is not what's happening at the beginning of this year. You just need some relief. But sometimes... Going out with friends or going out with family and talking to them is not help. It's not helping. And it's okay. Sometimes you need to find a way to climb out of your thoughts in a positive way. If you need professional help, try BetterHelp. They will work right with you. Contact www.betterhelp.com slash she gets it. You can get started today with 10% off your first month with BetterHelp to get the relief you need to be your best self again. Do not sit in those thoughts. Get the help you need today. Now back to the show. And a lot of great ideas don't get done. A lot of people who wanted to be these uh, great creators or designers or developers never complete a project because they're never writing the thought to completion. And that's something that has to get done in order to get your ideas out into this world and be used by people, be enjoyed by people. And I just want people to really learn how to develop their own thoughts, really figure out how they think really figure out what they need in order to see something th- through, really figure out what what are their processes um, that they go through in their head before procrastination kicks in. Um, why do they doubt themselves? And once you perfect those um, cons about how you think and how you see things through, doing things gets easier. 
You know, I went to school with a lot of friends who procrastinated bad. Like, I'm talking, come to my house, you're finished typing your paper on my computer in the living room. It's, it, it's due today. Like, why? Why wait to the last minute to do something that's so important? And a lot of people go through that. And that just tells me you spent years with yourself. And you still have so much to learn about yourself. You still don't know how to encourage yourself, how to motivate yourself. And you're going to need that through everything. You're going to need that through business relationships. You're going to need that through personal relationships. You're going to need that through uh, friendships. You're going to need to know what pushes you, what limits you, what motivates you, what makes you angry, what you can't handle, um, where to set your boundary. And that's what's going to give you the most peace and joy through the process of doing great things. Because let's say your goal was to be a a millionaire. Once you get that million, what's the next goal? And you can't figure out your next goal once you get the million. You have to know what your next step is going to be before you get the million. So learn how to ride that thing correctly. And the thing that you need to ride is how you think, how you create, and what you need in the process of you creating great things. Thank you so much for listening. It's just a small little bonus. I just wanted y'all to think about um, what you personally need to help you think through your process of doing great things. Because I think there's great things in all of us, but a lot of us, we stall out. And it's not gas that we're missing. It's not a destination that we don't know. It's that encouragement that has to come from within ourselves and that structure that has to be created within ourselves in order for us to see it through. Peace.